life in every season. It's been raining. We're getting some of the rain from the Hurricane Nicole. So we're kind of inside doing inside work right now. But today I want to talk to you a little bit about our wood stove. Um, this is an Ashley hearth wood stove. And um, yes, I have a lot of little doodahs, so I have some cheat notes here, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, we ordered this stove from Home Depot in May of 2022, and due to um, space constraints, it sat out on our back deck until September. And the good news is, it fared really well. We had no rust at all. So as you can see, it's a cute little stove. It is um, rated to produce heat for about a 1200 square foot house. That's gonna be great for us. This is a supplemental source of heat for us as we have the mini splits, um, which you've seen in another video. And um, it's, it's basically going to help us in case the power goes out or if we just want a little ambience going on. <laughs> um, let's see, um, in the video, you're gonna see Dale, our contractor installing pipe up through the roof of the house. Um, the pipe that we have is a triple walled and the hole he's cutting had to accommodate a two inch um, clearance for any combustible materials. So you'll see him installing that. Um, and with the luck of the draw, as Bruce said earlier today, um, because of where this stove is positioned, when they went up into the roof, they had to cut some um, ceiling joists and some roof rafters and reframe those. <laughs> so it is what it is when you get something in here like this. Um, next, you're gonna, on the roof, you're gonna see Tom um, installing the um, heat resistant silicone boot, and that's to help keep our roof watertight. Um, once um, the stove was installed, um, Bruce, excited and we did our first fire um, luckily I wasn't here that day um, because it really smelled um, it has um, of course it's painted and there's other some other chemicals that are involved in the process of making the stove so the first few burns you have are really smelly you make small fires and just enough to burn off and you'll actually see in the video you'll see some of the vapor from the paint coming off of that right there. Um, we had to open all of the windows because it was giving everybody a headache, but it's doing better now. We, we had another little fire the other day and it didn't smell nearly as bad. So if you're installing a wood stove, just know, don't burn a great big fire the first time. Follow your manufacturer's instructions on small burns to get that paint cured. Um, also, a little quick tip, to clean the viewing area, our manufacturer, suggests using steel, the finest steel wool, number 0000, to clear and clean it. And of course, in the, in the directions, I was laughing because they were like, don't try to clean the viewing area while you're burning a fire. So please be safe and don't have any issues with burning yourself trying to clean your viewing area. But this is our Ashley Hearth wood stove. We're very happy with it. Um, so yeah, and then we're gonna get ready here in a few moments and you're gonna see some other things related to the wood stove. Yes.
wood stove, you're going to burn wood, and you got to have some place to put it. So that's the next part of this video. You're going to see Bruce assembling our firewood rack. Now this rack, we ordered it from Amazon, um, and it, it had a wood rack. It came with the tools, and it also came with a log carrier. Um, I really love these log carriers. We've had them at other places with our other wood stoves. So that was kind of like a buying point for me. Um, it's a little smaller than I really wanted, but as you can see, space dictates a lot of what we do here in this remodel. Um, the total price was approximately about $75 on Amazon. And Bruce will, um, if he can find the link, he will put that link in the show notes. Um, it went together pretty smoothly. There was one little hiccup. Um, for whatever reason, there was a hole that was drilled into the wrong side of <laughs> the post leg. So Bruce had to kind of fix that. But yeah, we couldn't understand why it was done that way. But other than that little glitch, um, it went together pretty smoothly. And I like it. It's black that goes with the majority of other things, our new neutral color, black, in the house. Um, so, like I said, you got to have a place to put your wood. You're not going to just want to walk out and bring it in from outside all the time. You're going to want to have a stack for in the middle of the night when you get up to heat your wood up.
thank you guys so much for stopping by Life in Every Season. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hope that whatever content we put out here, you guys have enjoyed and you're able to use it. If you like our videos, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and thanks again for stopping by to see us in Life in Every Season.